Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And today, I'm gonna teach you, with your own mind, how to visualize short to ground. Now, what do you mean, visualize short to ground? I know what a short is, you know what a short is. Not everybody knows what a short is, and people definitely don't all know how to visualize what short to ground actually is. So today, I'm just gonna do a real brief overview. We're gonna take a look at a board view here, and I'm gonna show you what the actual visualization of short to ground is in terms of every single capacitor simulating and showing that it's actually short when only one of them is actually the short one. How does this work? Why does it do that? That's so confusing, please tell me. No worries, let's jump on over. All right, so I've already got ZXW up here. Um, we've got the iPhone 6 Plus loaded and I have the VCC main rail already up. Um, this is a very simple concept. It does not need to be dragged out. I'm talking about we are gonna be done with this in probably the next like few minutes, okay? It is that easy, okay? So don't bring your thinking caps today. It's not that big a deal. This one is a fundamental that is so easy it's like picking your favorite color crayon up and coloring. All right, so we have ZXW tool um, pulled up here and we also have the iPhone 6 Plus loaded. Um, the reason that we're using ZXW tool on this versus a board view or a schematic is ZXW tool has the unique feature where it allows us to click a circuit or just a component in that circuit and it will highlight all the other components in that circuit as well that have continuity to that specific one, okay? so. Just an example here, if I took my probes and I stuck one of them on one of these red dots and I stuck the other one on another red dot and I was in continuity mode, it would beep. Why? Because it has continuity. It's part of the same circuit, okay? Now, if you see something on here that is not highlighted, then it is not part of the same circuit. And you can touch one little red spot to one of these little yellow spots all day long and you're not gonna get anything. And you really shouldn't be. If you do, then, you know, obviously there's a problem. Now, let me show you another set of pathways, all right? It's called ground. Now, you remember I said that every one of these little red dots right now that are hooked up to that circuit, the actual VCC main circuit, all have continuity one another. But what does it not have permanent continuity with? Now, that's an important one, permanent continuity, okay? It does not have permanent continuity with ground. Well, that's easy to see because these little red dots don't indicate that I'm on ground. Let's go ahead and click ground though, okay? So, remember, this right here, all these little red dots are their own separate circuit pathway. Now I'm gonna click ground. Okay, we see grounds everywhere. That's because it is, it's omnipresent. It's, it's throughout the entire board, okay? And ground is an entirely another video that we will cover at another time. Today we're talking about visualizing a short to ground. So if we have two separate lanes that are not supposed to touch permanently and they're touching permanently, then we have something called a short to ground. That would mean that all of these red dots now touch all of these red dots. All right, so now that we've looked at the board view and we've seen with our own eyes both the regular part of the circuit and the ground part of the circuit, which we now know should not have a permanent connection, we can actually move forward in our visualization of short to ground, okay? First off, what's short? What, what is short, okay? Take your capacitor, you're visualizing it in front of you. Inside that capacitor, there is a dielectric material and then you have your uh, you have these little plates in between the dielectric material okay and if you look online you can see that these plates do not touch okay now when you have a capacitor break down it is possible for these to touch okay even if it's ever so slightly again we are working in the microscopic so it doesn't take much okay at that point you have full continuity across your component, which would mean that the component is short. Now, if it's short, it has something called a permanent connection. Now, remember I was saying that it's not supposed to have a permanent connection? That means that it took that first set of red dots 
and that second set of red dots, which was ground, and they've become one, okay? Now, how does this explain how every single time you check a different capacitor, they all show as they're, they're the ones that are short? It's so confusing if you don't know, okay? At that point, all you're doing is just taking capacitors off one at a time, you know? There's a lot of people out there that, you know, swear that they're going to go out there and do some inline capacitance testing and it's going to be feasible in a day-to-day, -day, you know, kind of situation. That's a whole nother video again. So and we'll probably do that one. That one's actually going to be pretty fun. Um, anyway, so if everything's connected, everything's going to show it short. But why? Why is it showing everything short? I, why can't I just tap the end of the bad capacitor and that one show me that it's, it's bad? Well, there's a very, very simple reason, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna try and simplify this a little bit, okay? All those dots that you just saw, let's forget about them for a minute, okay? We're gonna do this real simple. We're gonna make a real simple circuit here, okay? Let's say that you have three capacitors in your short line, okay? If you have three capacitors in your short line, then three of the sides are gonna be ground, and three are gonna be in continuity with that circuit, okay? And in the middle, you can just imagine yourself a wall, okay? Now, like I said, while they do have a connection, it's not a permanent connection. That's what we're talking about here. We're talking about that permanent connection, okay? So if we've got one, two, three here, and one of them is short to ground, then that one that's short to ground is gonna allow full, you know, full access across it, okay? So if I told you to take your probe and hit the positive end of one and the negative end of another one, then it's gonna show short. If I tell you to go across all three of them and check them all individually, then if you check them, every one of them are gonna seem like they have continuity to each other. This is just a, uh, it's an optical illusion in your own brain. It's, it's literally an illusion. That's, that's not exactly how it works, okay? So if one of them is shorted and you've got everything going to ground on that one component, okay? And on both sides separately, they are connected, okay? If they are separately connected to their own circuit pathways 100%, then when you take your probe and say, let's let's just say we're gonna go on the one over here, okay? I'm, I'm really bad at this. So there's one over here, there's one in the middle, and there's one over here. If you attach a probe here and you attach a probe down here, all it's gonna do, and we're gonna go ahead and say the middle one's the short one. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Boom. The electricity is gonna travel across and it's gonna travel through. Boom. You see that? They're all connected, okay? They all just travel through that one spot. So no matter what happens, they all come right through the bad component and they give the illusion that every single component is short to ground. But the deal is, you're crossing a bridge. It's that simple, okay? All you're doing is taking the two, the two separate pathways, you're going through the one bad component, and that is your bridge between all of them, okay? So you click over here, you click over here, whoop, comes to the bad one, boom, okay? Electricity travels extra fast that extra fast movement makes you feel like you're testing like if you test the same component it makes you kind of feel like that's the short one and then the next one's short and the next one's short and the next one's short and then you just take your probe and you stick it on the the ground somewhere you know what i'm saying and you just start testing them all and they're all beeping all over the place now you have a visualization in your mind of what that actually is so now you know what short to ground is, and you know how to visualize it. So it's not gonna confuse you anymore, okay? So hey, I really hope you learned something today. In fact, if you uh, liked the video, go and hit right over down there and hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed and you wanna start checking out all my stuff weekly, just head on over to the other side and hit subscribe. Now, if you are super about it and you wanna learn everything that I'm trying to teach, whoop, boom hit that notification bell, all right? It's really important. That way, every single time I upload something, it pops up right on your phone, your computer, whatever you're doing, all right? And hey, check it out. Maybe you have an opinion about what I'm doing right now. Or maybe 
You even used my technique on a repair and it worked for you. If any of these things apply to you or maybe you just want to say hi, hit me up with a comment. I love them. Seriously, I love the comments. They're my favorite. Every time I get one on my phone, I'm like, oh yeah. And if you are one of those people that is about to look me up on Instagram um, to ask me what equipment I use, well, guess what? I already got you. Don't even worry about it. Hit the description, boom, right down at the bottom has everything in a big old list. If there's something that I didn't put on there, then hit me up on Instagram, the phone god, check out my stuff, then hit me up and let me know what you need. And don't forget, I'm Justin, and this is The Art of Repair.